Hi, I'm Randy Vance. I'm on the Rainbow River with the folks at Enmar Marine, and I'm with Jason Stemmel, the Vice President of Engineering. A couple of years ago, Jason and his team introduced a brand new engine system called the EcoJet using the Ford EcoBoost engine. There's something new coming along with the EcoJet system, and that's why we're here. What's going on in the EcoJet arena? Well, Randy, thank you for talking to me today. And what we did, uh, we looked at current jet boats and jet propulsion systems, and we went back to a clean sheet of paper and said, what are some of the complaints that people have? Noise, vibration, steering maneuverability at low speed. So with a clean sheet of paper, that's what we did. We created a new mounting system for the jet. The jet that's in this boat right now is completely isolated with rubber mounts, where in a conventional jet it would be hard mounted to the hull, which will mitigate the vibration in the hull, it'll mitigate the noise, and in that mounting system, the boat builder only has to drill a one, six and a half inch hole in through the transom and mount what we call the horseshoe, then slide the pump in through the hull, and the pump is mounted and it's completely isolated from the rest of the vessel. Now. We're on a pontoon boat right now, which has got your EcoJet system in it. Is this a new direction for the EcoJet system? Absolutely. As you can see behind you, you completely open up the swim platform to a family. Uh, easy for kids to get in and off the swim platform. And with the jet pump, you're in shallow water operation. No worries about hitting a log or damaging a prop. Well, we're in a really environmentally sensitive area here with lots of grass, and we've been able to skim across that without even stirring up grass. That's kind of a cool thing. The other thing I've noticed, when you talk about maneuverability, particularly on a pontoon, what you run into is it takes a country mile to turn them with conventional propulsion. But we've pivoted them here inside their length with the jet. Yes, you have 45 degrees of steering where your, your conventional uh, outboard be about 25, maybe 30 degrees. As you're maneuvering forward to reverse, you can use that thrust and propulsion to pivot the boat on its axis. Well, and the other nice thing that I notice about jets, and this is fairly common with jets, is that you don't have a lot of lock-to-lock -lock wheel turning. No. So that making that full right-to-left turn is just about a half a turn it makes it really easy to pivot. Yes, it's conventional mechanical steering. I mean, the, the builders can pick the ratio they like, but for your really high-performance applications, you could be almost one full turn lock-to-lock. -lock. Yeah. Now, with your rubber mounting system, the one thing that... Um, that I've noticed in the little bit of time that we've spent on it is, as you said, it is quieter than what you expect from a conventional jet drive system. And a pontoon tends to resonate engine noise more. So I'd have to say, yeah, the rubber isolation in your jet pump and your motors is working out for you. The other huge advantage is the EcoBoost itself. That 2.3 liter that's right below us is 310 horsepower and 350 foot-pounds. The difference, though, compared to your conventional PWC jets, this is producing max torque and at 2200 RPM, and its max RPM on this particular jet pump, the way we dialed the impeller in, is 4800 RPM. So you have almost half the RPM of a conventional jet. Now, what's the advantage of that to the owner? Noise. Okay, it's bringing but, down your yeah, sound. Yeah, sound levels will be considerably less. Fuel consumption is with the direct injection system on the EcoBoost. That all day today, while we were idling around and doing turns, we were only burning half a gallon an hour. So you've got a 2.3 liter four-cylinder engine. It's turbocharged with double over ca overhead cams. Mm -hmm. The engine is proven in uh, Ford's Mustang, for new, one. Numerous platforms from Ford. The, the new Bronco uses it, the Mustang, the Explorer, the new Ranger, and the Lincoln MKC. And you're not only using turbocharging, you've got direct fuel injection, so it's an actually um, an emission-friendly engine. The other thing that usually shocks people, and it's quite fascinating, this engine also, where a conventional turbocharged engine in the old days would maybe 10 pounds of boost, this engine produces 22 pounds of boost to create the horsepower and torque that, you'll, that we've been experiencing all day. What makes it do that so quick? Usually you've got a lot of turbo lag in a motor, but this one comes up really fast. The engineers at Ford developed a twin scroll turbo for it, completely eliminates that low RPM lag. So just the minute that exhaust pressure hits it, it starts spinning Correct. up. Correct. Yeah. With this turbocharged smaller block engine, the overhead cam, direct fuel injection, what kind of emissions are you putting up? Uh, we are almost four times lower than your conventional outboard that's in the market today. 
How do you compare to other stern drive systems? Uh, we are comparable. We're, uh, stern drive and inboard are on the same federal emission standards. In addition to low emissions, are there any other environmental advantages to the system? Yes, also standard on all NMAR engines is the NMAR Innovation Award winner from several years ago. We call it the Strainer Pro. It is a combination C strainer and flush system. So not only will it catch any grasses or any contaminations that might be picked up, and won't make its way to the cooling system. It also has a nice integrated flush fitting for if you're out in the states with AIS required decon flushing stations. So are you saying this has got a closed cooling system? Yes, it does. It's glycol cooled through the block, which also allows us to provide heaters to the pontoon market now. Wow, so you've got something that the saltwater guys are gonna appreciate. It keeps salt water out of the engine system. Not only that, the exhaust system is completely 316 stainless steel. You know, we've talked about a number of the benefits that you guys are offering in this system. One thing that I thought the first moment that I heard you're doing it is jet systems have come and gone. I think of the old Berkeley ones that came out from California. What made you guys think this is the time to bring out a new jet pump system? Uh, multiple reasons. From our experience in the Northwest market, we went with an axial flow pump, which would handle rocks and vegetation and not prevent the jams of like the pumps you just mentioned from yesteryear. The other thing with the jet system, compared to an outboard, there's no propeller as you're swimming behind the boat. Well, we enjoyed that today when we had the kids and families out there swimming, hanging off the swim platform. You know, it's never safe to be in the water if the motor's running, but it's also a hazard to be around propellers if you're not completely aware of their presence, and kids tend to miss that. Jason, one thing I noticed on the dashboard on the uh, passenger console are there air vents there. What's that about? Thanks to the closed cooling system on the engine, we are able to provide a heater core similar to what's in your car. So with glycol in the system, you don't have to worry about your engine block freezing. How does that impact your winterization process? Uh, there are no raw water impellers to change or service yearly, and with one simple uh, blue wing nut, the system's winterized and the pump self-drains. Were you going to still fog the engine cylinders or not? Yes, uh, that's, a, that's a included in your operator manual. One of the things that I've noticed about pontoons in the last five or six years is more and more people are trailering them. Are there any advantages for these boaters with this system? There's no trim required, so you don't need to trim the outdrive as you get up on You're the not going to drag the skeg on the ramp. That is correct. How does the profile of this engine package compare with the profile of other jet drives on the market? It is slightly larger, but it replaces two engines into one with the amount of power produced. So you're getting 310 horsepower out of this one, just one engine? Correct. So how is that going to compare to other engine systems? Weight-wise, it will compare with your outboards or stern drives, and we've integrated this platform into different boat hulls and different applications, and we can work with the boat builders to uh, meet their needs. You know, one of the things that in driving this boat that I really like about it is pontoons take a country mile to turn around. You pivoted this one in its own length, and I think that was pretty cool. Yes, it's what we think makes the EcoJet stand out against an outboard or a stern drive. I'm Randy Vance on the Rainbow River with Jason Stimmel, and this is the new EcoJet system with the EcoBoost engine.